this was an interesting one. Uh, earlier in the week, an English, a UK citizen, um, I wonder if they've actually got the name here. I thought it was a Nikkei name, um, something like Anthony or Antonio. Uh, Anthony or Anthony Tanaka, 37-year-old uh, uh, mother must be proud, uh, uh, was ar arrested for uh, putting his uh, bento, which he'd finished eating, into a post box. Now, he claimed that he thought it was a trash can in his defense when he was arrested by police. Apparently, the police had actually been hot on the case because in the neighborhood where he was, uh, which is, uh, I think it was in oh, Kana, Kamakura, right? So uh, in a touristy spot, apparently there had been several cases uh, of, uh, specifically seven separate cases of uh, bentos being put, disposed of in post boxes. And uh, it's actually a crime in Japan, uh, up to $5,000 fine and one year in prison for disposing of rubbish in post boxes specifically. Um, and uh, this had happened multiple times. So uh, apparently they, they, they caught this guy uh, red-handed and arrested him. And in questioning, he claimed that he thought it was a rubbish bin. Um, now, for one thing, I've never seen a rubbish bin that looks anything like this. Also note, it contained, it has the word post written in enormous letters on the front, as well as English and Japanese uh, pickup times uh, and information about uh, letter sizes uh, written on the box, as well as the post office symbol. Um, so, uh, do do I think uh, plausible? Uh, I don't know. Have any of you ever mistaken one of these for a rubbish box and put rubbish into it? Uh no, um, you know, uh, a lot of people, some people did speak up and say, well, Japan doesn't have rubbish bins anywhere. And indeed, the, the, that is actually a thing. Um, some people said it happened after the siren attacks, but the, the, the rubbish bins weren't actually used in the siren attacks in 1995. I actually remember myself, it was around 1999 or 2000, there was somebody who put um, a, a bunch of sort of small bombs in uh, train station rubbish bins, just like, you know, just a crazy guy, um, not, not political or anything like that. And it actually caused, uh, or actually was putting them into lockers in train stations and was causing these explosions which injured a couple of people and so yeah at that time temporarily the Tokyo government removed a lot of rubbish bins from public places and they actually discovered that maybe this isn't the case elsewhere but what they discovered when they did this was that uh, because what would happen in places like Shibuya was when they had a rubbish bin somewhere not only would there be rubbish in that rubbish bin, but it would quickly become full and overflow. And a lot of people would throw rubbish, not just in the bin, but just around the bin. The bin would become like a small mountain of rubbish. So, you know, it couldn't be easily cleared out every day. And, uh, you know, rubbish bins or places with rubbish bins but would just become extra sort of messy. And it's funny, because of this bombing thing that happened just after I arrived in Japan, uh, when the Tokyo government removed all of the rubbish bins, a mysterious thing happened there was less litter and with nowhere to throw away the rubbish people started actually carrying it because they'd walk around expecting to find a rubbish bin and when they couldn't find it um they're, they're so can people wouldn't litter um there was no whereas when you see a rubbish bin with rubbish on the f on the ground all around it people are less inhibited it seems like it's kind of like there's a green light to litter but when there's no litter anywhere people just don't feel no people don't feel right throwing it away and so the Tokyo government realized, well, we, maybe we don't need rubbish bins. And they actually started uh, putting up public messaging that they're not going to put the rubbish bins back and they want people to carry their rubbish home. And uh, more recently, even convenience stores, uh, which had rubbish bins out on the street, started bringing those back into the shops so that people couldn't throw away home rubbish and stuff in those. So it is a thing in Tokyo. You don't see rubbish bins anywhere, but they, they got rid of them partly because they figured out it contributes to the lack of rubbish. But it's certainly something that visitors to Japan com who are not so inhibited about littering uh, complain about. And it's an excuse that you sometimes hear that they couldn't find rubbish bins anywhere. So, you know, that they, they just threw it out. And I, this person didn't use that excuse. But I suspect that the uh, person who claims they thought it was a trash can is a lying piece of crap. Honestly, um, that's a personal opinion. There's no nothing other than the circumstances of the story to come to that. But the fact that a 37-year-old Anthony Tanaka uh, could somehow think that um, <laughs> that uh, post office boxes, which look just like post office boxes in the UK and everywhere else in the world, and have post written on them in massive letters, uh, could believe uh, that they, you know, uh, here's could be up to five years in prison and or a year of five thousand US dollars, roughly.
half are doing this don't do this don't be a dick don't do a gaijin smash don't do stuff like this expecting to get away with it because you're a foreigner because here's the bad news for you um if you think you can get away with this remember the japanese police have nothing better to do there is basically like no crime here you know um well for intents and purposes i remember a few years ago when there was a news story that uh, the head of the new york police department came and met with the head of the tokyo police department and asked well you know what what, what kind of uh, crime do uh police officers you know do beat police spend most time policing in japan and <laughs> the head of the tokyo metropolitan police explained to him they spend most of the time filling out forms uh relating to lost umbrellas uh, that is apparently how the tokyo police spend most of their day so you can imagine that the, the the post box um you know bent or fiend is probably you know actually pretty high on the agenda of the police here uh, also just another thing while well, that's lighthearted of I and mean, of course there is a problem of under enforcement of things like um uh you know gropers on trains and sexual harassment and violence towards women that you hear about um so that is a problem but but one other thing is that uh don't you don't mess with the don't like not just because it's being a dick do not do the old gaijin smash thinking you can get away with stuff because you're a foreigner but also you know if you ever get wrapped up with the police here the pol you do not want to mess with the police in this country that 99.9 .9 percent conviction rate um, that's a that, that's basically if they decide that you've done something you're screwed and you know particularly in cases with foreigners um, you know often it takes like a year before you even get to trial you do not have any of the rights that you have in western sort of countries and that if you get wrapped up in the justice system here um, this seems like a funny story and it is but um, I imagine that this person's probably regretting very much that they're going through this uh, right now so uh, you do not want to get in trouble with the police here and also you know this is the other thing as well um, the idea that the Japanese here the police they do carry guns although they hardly ever use them but you know um, people die from the suffocation tactics like for example they'll have lots of police will hold people down or wrap them up in blankets and hold them down and they'll suffocate and stuff like that they they use uh physicality tactics to suppress they won't beat you they won't shoot you they won't they won't do that but they'll, they'll they use other tactics which people get injured and killed all the time here uh kind of accidentally uh but um like i said you do not want to get in trouble with the police here especially for something as stupid as this um and especially where your uh, your excuse you're plainly lying so um yeah you know uh, i don't feel any sympathy for this person don't don't be this guy don't be don't don't do the gaijin smash that is the moral of the story